This is a demonstration of the development of Newton's method in nonlinear regression using a Taylor series expansion. First of all, we look at the sum of squares error. Sigma y minus f x beta all squared. So I've got the sum of squares there. We can take a Taylor series ex expansion of this equation about some point beta equals beta naught. So on the left hand side, sum of squares error equals the sum of squares error at beta naught plus beta minus beta naught times the first derivative of the sum of squares error at beta naught. So this is actually a value and then beta minus beta naught squared on 2 factorial times the second derivative of beta naught that is the value of the second derivative at beta equals beta naught plus the nth term and it goes on to infinity. Now we can approximate this by using just the, this term, this term and this term. So here it is, here's the approximation equals these three terms we can differentiate with respect to beta so the slope of the SSE equation is approximately equal to well this is a, a value so differentiating it we get 0 differentiating this term we get SSE dash beta naught so we end up with a value which is the value of the slope of the SSE at beta naught plus beta minus beta naught times the second derivative or the value of the second derivative at beta naught. If we equate the left hand side to zero because we want to find a turning point in the SSE so that's where the slope is zero so we equate this to zero and we make B the subject we end up with Taylor series expansion beta equals or approximately equals beta naught minus the first the value of the first derivative at beta naught divided by the value of the second derivative at beta naught. Alright, this leads us to the iterative equation for Newton's method beta i plus 1 equals beta i minus the, the value of the first derivative at beta i divided by the value of the second derivative of the SSE at beta i. Okay, so that's Newton's method in nonlinear regression. We want to find the optimal value for beta. It looks very straightforward. It is very straightforward. Unfortunately, it's computationally intensive and it also suffers from the challenges that the topology of the sum of squares error may present for various values of beta. So what we have to make sure of is that when we're looking for the optimal value for beta that we start close to that optimal value and finding a starting value that is close to the optimal value can be a bit of a challenge. Okay, that's all.